Hey guys, this is Sarah with Raven's Crochet. Um, I am coming at you with a tutorial. This is not my official setup. I'm just using a TV tray table. And, well, I've been too exhausted from work to do much of anything, but um, here we're going to try a tutorial here. This is a pom-pom maker. This came with my knitting bee here. And I'm going to show you how to use the knitting bee. Um, but I need to get these pom-poms made for these hats. These hats I made for Hat Not Hate. So we're going to try to make some pom-poms. The leftover yarn I'm using is from Red Heart Super Saver. And it's, it, it was a jumbo skein, 482 yards. It was enough for me to make three hats. And their colorway is Macaw. You can find this at Walmart, Joann's. Um, I'm not sure if Hobby Lobby would have this yarn, but I know you can definitely get this online from Yarnspirations. Annie's catalog, I believe, also has it. And a lot of those links are in my description box below. And this little snake guy, because he's just so cute, I got them in one of these, one of those little um, chocolate eggs. Kids like to get them. That comes with like a little toy. He had like a little thing of green dried paint. You get them wet, and, and and you can paint with them. But he's just so cute. So. And he matches, he matches the pom-pom maker and my looming bee. So we're just going to have him here because he's cute. So I would say I have maybe almost 100 yards left of yarn from this skein. Maybe a little bit less. And so we're going to make large pom-pom makers. This is the small side. Here's the large side. So the instructions say to um, wrap your yarn around like this. We're going to bring it over, Let's see if I can stay in the, in the viewfinder, wrap it over like this. So here's the end of my yarn, I'm just going to wrap it around that down here. And it needs to be enough to where once, once we get all the yarn wrapped around here, we're going to need enough of this to come back up and tie it closed. So make sure you have a long enough tail to tie, and I like to double, I like to double it up. So we're just going to have like a long enough tail. See, there's the end. So what we want to do is, um, I think we want to have it up this way. And then, no, it really doesn't matter because both of these ends are going to come up and we have to tie a knot around here anyway before we start cutting. So I'm just going to do it this way. I threw, threw the package away already. I don't feel like digging it out of the trash can. So long enough tail because I'm going to double it up and make sure it's real tight and I'm going to go ahead and just cut that so, I don't, so that doesn't get tangled up or anything and then I'm going to take my new end here bring it around okay so we have our tails down there and then we can just start wrapping there's the end and we're just going to start wrapping Wrapping, 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 wrapping. The more yarn you use, the better your pom pom will look. That is a big tip from a lot of podcasters I have heard. The more yarn you use, the thicker and fuller your pom pom will look. So we just got to keep wrapping. Now, the bad thing about my tutorials is that because I loathe technology so much, there won't be much of any editing. Um, I will get into editing at some point because it will make my videos better and present my content in a more fashionable, professional way, which is kind of what I want. I don't want to just record and upload, you know, but because I loathe technology so much and because my full-time keeps me, my full-time job keeps me so busy, um, I'm just too exhausted to deal with that right now. And that's actually another reason why I haven't transferred my service and all my all the contents on my phone over to my new phone, which I need to be doing that soon anyway. I should have already had it done, but you know, again, I don't like technology. So I'm still wrapping. I really want to make sure there's a lot of yarn on here. <clears throat> and I want this to be a fairly sizable pom-pom. I've already washed and dried the hats. I just chose to put the pom-poms afterwards because pom-poms do not look as good once they are washed um, and thrown in a 
machine. What you could do is you could just tie a bow underneath the beanie when you attach this so that if you wanted to wash the hat you can untie the bow and take the pom-pom off before you do that. What I've also done, um, I haven't done the bow tie thing underneath the beanie, but what I have done is I have those plastic snaps and a like a snapping tool. It works like um, a hole puncher and you can use that to apply one side of the snap to the bottom of the pom-pom and then install the other side of the snap to the top of the beanie hat and then you can unsnap the pom-pom before washing the hat and that's the method I like but just to make sure the pom-pom did not fall off I had a button, a small button, attached underneath the uh, beanie and I crocheted a really really small chain loop with the yarn underneath the pom-pom so that once I snapped the pom-pom on that little chain loop would go through the top of the beanie and then I would uh, wrap that around the button so that way if the snap came undone the pom-pom was still buttoned to the beanie from the other from the underside. Oh, I knocked my snake over. So I'm still wrapping I'm trying to use about half of the yarn I have left. This is going to be a really thick pom-pom I appreciate you guys bearing with me on my tutorials. I am new at this and I had not originally planned on making tutorials because I can't edit them. You know, I can't do long tutorials without editing otherwise you guys would be bored to death, you know, right? So that's the main reason why I won't be having many tutorials on here. And I know I just kind of make things out of my head without following a pattern and that's mostly what I do, but Rest assured, I can direct you guys towards another tutorial on someone else's podcast, um, especially if it is a very, very similar item, like maybe my inspiration came from their pattern. And um, you guys can still make the same things I make, it just won't be the exact same pattern. So I hope that made sense. My inspiration and my creativity can, can be made up in my head. And if I see something I really like, but if I don't know how to make it, I can come up with my own way to make it. Okay, so I think this is enough. This is pretty much all the yarn I can get on there. And that's about half of the yarn I have left. So now, camera will focus, there we go. I'm going to cut this. Put those scissors back up so I don't poke myself. Let's move this little snake guy out of the way. And I'm going to bring this yarn up, bring this one up this way, leave this one down. I'm going to wrap this around a couple of times. Just wrap it around through those legs, wrap it around again, and then we're just going to turn it over. So there's that end we just wrapped around. Here's the other tail. We're going to bring this up. Now here's a good tip for you guys. I'm pulling both ends. When you are having to tie a knot and you're by yourself, you don't have someone else's finger to help you hold it down, just do a double knot. Fishermen use this in their fishing lines. So instead of doing like a simple knot, wrapping it around once, wrap it around twice. Yeah, I'll do that again. Instead of wrapping it around once, wrap it around twice. You see it's wrapped around twice and then pull and that knot will stay in place better so just gently pull don't break your yarn but just be gentle with this break don't break it just be gentle now this is acrylic so it's not that strong it is a four weight yarn I'm using okay that's about as tight as I can get that make another knot. Now this one doesn't have to be a double, just wrap it around once. Get this thing out of the way, that's part of our pom-pom. And then bam, your knot is tied. Now because I like to be, I like things to be secure, I'm going to wrap this back. We just made that knot. Get that little piece out of the way. Just made that knot, so I'm going to wrap this back around through the legs and back up here. 
and this end is still long enough, I can tie another knot on this side. Wrap it around twice. Here, I'll do that again. Wrap it around once and twice. And so when you're by yourself, you don't need someone's extra finger helping you hold this down. Gentle, tug gently. Okay, that's pretty snug, as snug as I can get it without breaking the yarn. Then do one wrap around and pull down. Now leave this long end so you can tie it onto your pom-pom. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just knot these together. So that way I don't get it mixed up with the uh, short strings of the pom-pom. See if I can do this behind the camera. This is kind of difficult behind the camera. In one front of the camera, technically. My face is behind the camera. That end is longer than that one. Okay, just a gentle knot. It doesn't have to be tight, but that's just to remind me that this is the long end to tie on. So now what we want to do, once we, once we have that tied up, there is a groove. This is the smaller side of the pom-pom maker. There's a groove in here where our scissors blade, our scissor blade can fit through. So we just take our scissors, we come in here, and just start snipping. Snip, snip, snip. I'll probably start on the top layer here. This is a lot of yarn. Quite a bit of yarn, so just take your time. Don't go crazy with your scissors. You don't want to nick yourself. And really, I should have these scissors sharpened. But, you know, I do the bare minimum sometimes, especially when I'm exhausted from work. I had the day off yesterday, but I was so exhausted, all I did was rest. I got a little bit of crocheting done. Like, I'm trying to work on a, um, a large size yarn bowl maker, but the yarn I chose is way too soft and, and squishy, and so the basket bowl is not sturdy enough, so I have to find something else that will make it more sturdy. But I did find an old trash can I got from Dollar Tree that can work as a yarn bowl for the floor, too, and it's got a small handle on both sides I could I could put the yarn through. So I'm still cutting, as you can see. It's really tight wrapped around here. You know, and you don't have to wrap this around tight. It can be fairly loose. You don't want it so tight you're having a hard time cutting though. Did not get everything. Keep cutting, keep cutting. Okay, so there's that side done. So then we do the other side. Again, I really do appreciate you guys bearing with me. Any tutorial I do will be short and under 30 minutes long because I don't like technology that much. And I will not be doing a lot of editing on my videos, unfortunately. I do want to do a little bit. And I want to find like a really cool intro and stuff and put pictures in and put small videos together little things like that but nothing major I don't want to spend all day editing a video just to upload I don't have the patience for that I had the patience for crocheting but I don't have the patience for um, editing software which should be understandable I mean I would think you know you have your thing that you like to do mm, pardon me Drinking a lot of apple juice this morning. Okay, so there's that side done. So far it's looking like a pom-pom. Now, okay, here's a mistake that I did. Okay, this is actually good for you guys to see because this is actually my first time using this and because I'm not following the instructions. I'm trying to remember it off the top of my head. Here's a mistake that you guys can see. 
I tied the pom-pom to this little plastic thingy. And if I were to cut that off, my whole entire pom-pom would come apart. So I think this thing comes apart. I don't think I can get it off without tearing up the pom-pom though. I may have to go back and tie this pom-pom together, which is fine. That's another reason why I wrap this around so much. Let me see here. See, we podcasters make mistakes too. We're not perfect. And we are by no means professionals. Unless we specify we are professional. It doesn't matter how long you've been crocheting. You're not a professional. Um, if you <laughs> still make mistakes like this. I mean, yeah, you could be a professional, of course. But even professionals make mistakes. So I have to I have to cut this right here. There's no other way for me to get this off without tearing up the pom-pom or breaking my plastic piece here. And I don't know if I can get the whole thing. Ooh, actually, yeah, it looks like I can. Let me see if I can maneuver it in a way. Sorry, guys. Please bear with me. Ooh, maybe I can do this. Gently push that side through. Ah, okay, maybe. Yeah. Look how weird my pom-pom looks. We still haven't trimmed it yet. That's one thing we still have to do. But, um, this is my dilemma. Don't do this the way I just did, guys. Um, I'm going to have to, I don't have a choice. I'm just going to have to cut this. But that's okay. We can take another strand and try it again. Just cut off another piece. I'm going to try to go around. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure you're going around and you're tying up. You're tying it up. So I'm going to do a double knot here. Wrap around once. Wrap around twice. And still trying to make sure that's in the middle. And it is not. But I don't really care because I'm not a professional. As long as it looks good in the end, I can still use this and attach it. Okay, so there was another place where I indicated, yep, we're just going to cut these now. I can add this for stuffing. Hi, baby girl. Hi, Raven. Okay, so this is my new place to attach my hat, to attach this pom-pom to the hat. Now what we do is take a big pair of scissors, preferably like fabric cutting scissors because it goes quicker. You want to hold this over a, a trash bag or maybe a bucket, maybe a bucket, um, here, a bucket like this. So we're going to trim, trim now. Let me see if I can do this in a way where you guys can see this. I got yarn and stuff all over my place, so please excuse the mess. Let me get something to set this on. Here we go. Okay. So I have something else that's sitting on top of my bucket here. And I'm not getting it for my big scissors, but um, I'm just going to start trimming. And it doesn't have to be perfect. But you want it to have like a roundish, um, a roundish pattern. You want it to look as close to a ball as you can get it. Going to have a lot of fluff, a lot of fiber fibers going on around the air. What I'm going to do at some point is like I should have already had one, and I had one before years ago. I want to get one of those air purifiers to hang up. Um, high on one of the walls, especially for the pet dander and everything, it will suck up all the air in your home, and then it would it will expel clean cleaner air, which means it will filter out all the animal fibers floating around, the dust particles, any yarn fiber or sewing fibers from fabrics that you do. A, f a filtering fan is something really good to have in your craft space especially with when you're working with yarn fibers and fabric. 
Now this pom-pom looks like crap to me. But like again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you just want to make sure it looks as close to a ball as possible. And it doesn't look bad. There may be some fibers tucked in there that need to come out. And that's okay. I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit. It's starting to get its shape a little better. Let's trim over here. I hope you guys can see this okay. If you have any any suggestions for me at all, feel free to leave comments. Try not to be too mean. Um, it's okay if if it's a little negative. Um, I try not to cry over spilled milk, and you, so you can be honest, but be nice about it if you can, please. Um, like there was one podcaster I was watching, I'm like, oh, honey, your lighting sucks. Of course, you know I didn't, I didn't leave that in the comments, but you know, but um. You got a nice way of saying something about it. I'm completely cool with that. Even if it's something that you don't like. Every podcaster is different. Everyone likes different things. No one person can make everybody happy. It's just how it is, you know? But that's part of diversity. Everyone is different. Everyone can come up with their own great ideas. And their own suggestions. And of course, you know... You'll hear other people going, hey, why didn't I think of that? So, okay, it's looking a little better. I still got some trimming to do. Snip, snip, snip. Just keep snipping. Just keep snipping. So it's not looking too bad. And see, I'm, I'm holding on to the ties. Um, to tie this onto the hat. It's not looking too bad. I'm still going to trim it down some more. But you pretty much get the idea. Shake it out. And you can do this outside. This would be a great outside project. You know, with the kids, you guys can all make your own colored pom-pom. And they can have fun playing with it like a hacky sack, tossing it up in the air. This is actually a really fun project for kids to do. You can use two rolls of uh, empty toilet paper, the cardboard tubes from the middle of the toilet paper, those are fun. You can also use a paper towel, um, cardboard tube, which would be much better. You can cut it in half and then you already have enough for to make one pom-pom, just that. And then um, it's really easy to do this with, with toilet paper holders. You don't need a pom-pom maker. So I'm going to trim it a little bit more, but that's pretty close. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to tie this onto the hat. So I grab the hat and I grab the cro a crochet needle. It doesn't have to be the same one you used for the project, but I go. So here's the center of the hole right here, center. I'm going to go just to the side of it, just to the side of it and go through. And I need to take this knot out. Let's cut this knot off. I'm going to take one side. Just one side. Let me turn this back around so I can see what I'm doing too. Excuse me, guys. So sorry. Bear with me, please. Okay, here's the inside of the hat. I got my crochet hook through. There's the very center. I went just to the right side of it. I'm going to take one long strand, just one, because there's two, two long strands on here to tie this on with. I'm going to go through with this yarn. And then there's that yarn on the outside of the hat. See? It's, it's not through the center hole. It's right on the, on the right side. Then I'm going to go down on the left side. On the left side. Okay, this is the inside. This is the inside of the hat. Excuse me. So I went just to the left side of that hole just to the left of that center hole and then I'm going to pull down this other string there we go wrap it around the hook pull it down it's kind of difficult I haven't done this in a long time 
But as long as you're holding it right, you don't have camera in front of your face, this is really easy to do. It's just kind of difficult with the camera. There we go. That's through. So then we have these two ends sticking out. This is the inside of the hat. We have these two strings sticking out on either side of that center hole. And then here's the outside of the hat. And here's what the pom-pom will look like on the hat. So we've got our hat in there. Now we're going to tie it in. So I double, I double tie this. Remember, like I said, when you're by yourself and you don't have anyone's finger to help you out, wrap around once, wrap around twice, tie that down, it will be secure. It's not going anywhere. That knot will stay until you secure it, excuse me, with another knot. And that's it. And then you just trim this off. Bam. Now I like to leave just a little bit of tail on here, just a little bit, just enough to tell me that that's where I tied on the pom-pom, just in case this pom-pom gets messed up, you can make another one. Now this hat will be donated. This is a hat for Hat Not Hate. So that's why I wanted to wrap the yarn around the pom-pom twice. And I'm going to shake this hat up quite a bit once I get it all nice and trimmed up. I'm going to shake this hat up and check out its durability. Make sure I'm making sure that no other fuzzies and fibers are coming loose. And that way I'll, I'll, I'll be much happier t when I donate this. Which will be within the next two to three days I'll be putting these um, in a package and mailing them off. The deadline is pretty much here, but better late than never. I really want to get these hats sent in. I've just been too exhausted to get them done on time. But, you know, life is life, right? So there's one cute little hat. I think it turned out really nice. And it looks like my snake, my little snake friend approves. So um, I'm 27 minutes in. I will show you in the next video on how to use the, the uh, knitting bee. Thank you guys for watching. And I appreciate you subscribing. Um, thank you for returning if you've watched me before. And just keep sharing the love, guys. I hope y'all are having a great crochet day. Bye-bye.